Hello everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand, internal medicine physician. Why science and large aspects of science died in 2020 and 2021. That may sound like a rather dramatic thing to say, but I believe it's true in a number of different ways. Science is an interesting word. There is no one all encompassing definition of the word science, but I can certainly tell you what it is not. And when human emotions and feelings are ruling the roost, you are not going to be in the realm of science for very long. As a doctor, I'm somebody that always tries every day to practice science. That's what every doctor should be who is in healthcare and medicine. Science is about pure objectivity. It's about logic and rational thinking. But unfortunately, what we've seen over the last couple of years through many of our COVID responses all over the world is a lack of really following the science and being objective, logical, and rational. We've been the opposite. We've been formulating policies, and we still are, based on what feels good, what sounds good, what caters to our basic human emotions, fears, anxieties, and a sense of panic. And this is not good for many different reasons. And again, there are so many examples over the last couple of years where even medical authorities have been formulating and still are formulating public policies based more on feelings, emotions, what sounds good rather than what actually is good. We have to lead with reason and logic. And why does this become a problem? Well, you may have heard the advice, maybe your grandparents gave you this advice, that it is never good to make a decision under emotional duress, i.e. emotional decisions are rarely the right decisions. You have to make logical decisions in life. And of course, that not only applies to a micro level, but think about the consequences at a societal level if we are doing this consistently, leading with emotions rather than facts and reason. There is a big difference between what sounds good and feels good and what actually is good for us. Fear especially is the worst human emotion of all. Human beings are capable of all sorts of madness once they have been infected with fear. It's not advisable at all to be making big decisions if you are fearful. Now let's be realistic for a second as well. Human beings will always be human beings. We are emotional animals by nature. And that's not to say that emotions are always bad. I mean, you wouldn't want to be dating somebody or marry someone without any emotions. That's not good either. I'm talking about the bigger decisions that we are making and not just at a personal level, but at a societal level. They have to be done logically and not with emotion. Again, science is about pure objectivity, logic and reason. You don't come into science with a certain angle. And this gets to another point about some elements within our COVID response over the last couple of years that almost say you're not allowed to ask any questions. Nothing could be more anti-science than that. When you're no longer allowed to ask reasonable, proper questions, you're no longer even in the realm of science. You're in the realm of something akin to religious extremism. This is a battle, of course, that has been going on for thousands of years. It is nothing new. People who want to really look at the world and get data, draw conclusions based on pure reason, logic, and what is after all science, and other people who are being led more by emotions and at worst dogma or maybe even other agendas. We cannot allow people in the latter category to win because nothing could be more anti-science. So as we approach 2022, I really hope that we can reverse this ship. We cannot allow ourselves to be dictated by irrational fears and formulate public policies based more on anxieties than actual real facts and a realistic view of the world. Science and public health policies win when you're looking at the world with a clear mind, objectively and with reason, and they lose when we allow emotions to rule the roost. Thanks everyone for listening. Dr. Sunil Dan, Medstroke Lifestyle Medicine. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. You can also follow me on locals.com. It is an uncensored platform. Link is down below as well. And we will speak again very soon.